Hi guys, today we're going to be making this beautiful Christmas uh, tree decoration. As you can see it's a little star and we used two colours. So what you need is two stars that I made previously. So you can see the video here, um, you can see how to make the star. One star should not take more than 10 minutes. Um, so I'm using DK yarn for that and I'm also using 3.5 millimeter crochet hook and something to cut okay so let's get started okay so for this project we're going to use the stars that i i made very recently and you what you'll need you'll need two stars uh one has to be cut off and fastened off the other one you need to do it and then keep the yarn so we don't fasten off at this point because we need that yarn to connect the stars. Now for this project you also notice they don't need to be blocked so you don't need to straighten them to put them together so one of them I have done the other one I haven't so it makes really no difference. So where you finished your last star that's your last stitch done here and now we're going to put the stars against each other and we are going to be working with double crochets which is British English and American English it's um, single crochet so we are going to go into the first, ne next stitch after uh, this here so we're going to go into the next stitch and then we're going to go into the same stitch on the other star now my golden star seems a bit looser than the red one and this is why it might be a bit tricky to know where to go, where to go in. But um, what I normally do, I just pull them apart to check. So I've got a stitch here and I've got a stitch here. And just do double crochet, one double crochet in each stitch. And then just go around the first arm. On the top, it might be tricky to to know where the next stitch is. So I think I've skipped one here. There we go. There's one here. And then there's one here. And then there's one just on the top. There we go. So basically this is what we're doing all the way around here and all the way around for all the other arms. So I'm not going to bore you showing you this because you see you know exactly what to do but I am going to finish this arm and show you what it's what it looks like on the other side. So bear with me just one second will be done in no time. So remember one double crochet in each stitch. And now we just need to make sure it's a bit tight here. Just need to make sure that we go into the right spot. There we go. And then the next stitch is just there. Okay, so we've got to the bottom and this is what we want. So there's a nice, nice rim just there. And that's what I'm going to do all the way around. And I'm going to see you here when I get to the last arm. Um, so I'm going to finish all of it. And when I'm on the bottom, I'm going to come back before I fasten off. So don't fasten off before you see the rest of the video. So I'm done now. I've got to the end here. Now, perhaps once I've finished, this star could do with a little bit of blocking after all, um, because I think the red one is just a little bit too curly. But actually, if you just take it up like that, you can't really tell. So it's completely up to you whether you think it needs it or not. So now I'm going to do the usual. So I'm going to fasten off. So one more chain and then fasten off. 
Now I've already got the rest of my yarn, so I've only got that much yarn left, so I can't really do much about it. But if you have more of the yarn, I would say cut it off and leave maybe a meter um, here. And then once you've fastened off, just pull this up to one of the arms. So I'm just going to go up through the stitches and pull it up to the arm simply because I do not want my chain to be between the arms because I don't want it to look like it's um, an upside down upside down star so I want to have my chain which I'm going to use to hang it up with on top of one of the arms so there we go and when I get to the top stitch so I'm now in the top stitch here I'm going to yarn over and pull through but not pull completely just pull as if I was making a chain and then I'm going to just carry on making a chain and it's completely up to you everybody has different lengths of, um, of the chain uh, which they use to hang up their, um, their, uh, tree de their tree decorations so just have a little longer so what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a bit more, okay? So I'm going to do a few more chains and I'll be right back with you. So do your chain as long as you want it to be and then oh, we'll meet to finish off. So now we're ready to finish off. Um, I'm going to wrap my yarn around as usual and then I'm going to put my hook into the bottom chain of this bit here so the bottom chain put the hook in yarn over and pull through and just do a slip stitch and then fasten off and there you have it so now I'm going to actually um, use my hook to weave in the yarn a little bit you can use a, you can use a, um, a, a needle if you think it's easier or you prefer it I'm just going to weave it a little bit into the arm like so oops there's always something isn't there there's always something that goes wrong Okay, let's do it again. And the last time, there we go. And I'm just going to cut this off. And there you have it. A Christmas star decoration. A tree decoration that is very, very easy to make and um, quite adorable actually and if you want you can use it um, as a Christmas decoration for your child so this is what I'm going to be giving my two-year-old today because I definitely definitely don't want her to be handling anything more brittle um, so there you have it I hope you enjoyed it and if you like the video please subscribe and I'll see you again soon thank you for watching bye bye